All right, so taking a look at what it looks like once you just sign up for Clarify. You get dropped into your homepage where we have all the latest models ready to use and adopt into your production use case. And you'll see a mix of text models and multimodal models. And we have a dedicated team uploading the latest within hours of new models being announced. Once you uh, test them out in a playground, which I'll show you about in a second, you can set up compute. We have a lot of different configurations, including fully customized, where you get to pick your cloud provider, your instance type, and so forth. But we help you get started uh, in a very easy way. Once you have some compute, like I do, we have a few different clusters provisioned uh, in this account across different clouds and on-premise. We have helpful tips to get started to our docs, SDKs, etc. And then we have all my projects, models, workflows, all my other resources right here in the homepage. And you can configure it so you can hide a few things if you want. Uh, you can turn on different areas and so forth. So let's dive in and try a model. So I'm going to go to the playground and here I'll just see, hello there. Let's see what it comes back. Hey, happy to assist you. All right. How many planets are in the universe? So as you can see, we have real-time streaming results coming back instantaneously from these models. We've really optimized for low latency, high throughput of tokens uh, coming back from a variety of different models. So that's uh, running in our dedicated uh, uh, clusters that Clarify manages. We call them our shared clusters. You can also create uh, compute in your own environments as well, which I'll show you in a little bit. Let's try a vision model. Let me just see here. This one's a cool one, uh, uh, Gwen VL model. I'll just throw in a picture of a starfish and say, what is this? And it'll come back, understanding the pixels of that image and giving lots of details like the phylum of this as well. And with uh, these multimodal models, it's pretty fun because you can say like how many things are there? So I didn't really say what things are. Uh, oh, there's one thing, okay. Uh, let's try it again. Count how many arms there are. This picture has five arms. Okay, awesome. So we just saw in real time understanding images and text and having a great experience around that. Now, if you want to uh, provision compute, uh, you jump over to the compute tab. This is where you can create clusters at the click of a button in any of the major clouds. Once you pick a cloud like Vulture, you can pick different regions. I'll throw in New York here. And uh, we connect to these clouds via our API. So you have a personal access token for that. And coming soon, you'll be able to deploy into your own VPC. So you'll get a one-line Helm install. If your uh, clusters are running Kubernetes, you can install very easily and we'll be able to orchestrate workloads on them. That includes on-premise clusters as well, without even having to open up VP VPC peering or firewall ports. Uh, it's very flexible uh, from a security perspective to uh, do this in a secure way. Now, if I jump into a cluster, let's say uh, Vulture here, and I'll go ahead and create a node pool. So here we're giving a few different options of the types of nodes you can pick. So uh, I could pick an A100 or an L40S, et cetera. If you're familiar with Vulture, these are some of the instance types and some of the specs about them. Now, very importantly, you can have uh, pools of nodes uh, scaled to zero, so you're not wasting any money if they're not in use. And you can set caps, so you're not spending too much money when they're in heavy use. So all that is very configurable on a node pool by node pool basis. And so let's see, I have a CPU node pool here, and I know I have a model deployed into it. So I showed you a little bit about models. We have a bunch set up in the playground. I'll show you what it looks like to upload a new one in a second. But I've already uploaded one, and for this model, I'm just going to jump here and show you what a deployment looks like. So here's where you tie a model together, and everything's versioned in our platform with a cluster. So here, you know, I could run this model on the CPU node pool, and for that, I can configure the min and max scaling as well. So all that uh, is configured, and then if I jump back to that model, I can use the different deployments to route traffic. So I'm just going to type in something here. And uh, that just ran on Vulture, which is pretty cool. Ran over here on Google Cloud. Next API call went to AWS. And this one went to an on-premise data center. So we just ran across four different clusters uh, without changing our code, re-uploading it, uh, thinking about scaling models or infrastructure at all. We seamlessly uh, route traffic automatically. 